Ernest the engine cart was snoozing in the shed when the same pesky yard manager that we hired for a previous episode proceeded to wake him. Look alive, Ernest. You have a slow goods train to take. Ernest opened a sleepy eye. That's the ninth slow goods train you've assigned to me this week. Nothing doing. So you think, replied the yard manager. You're taking this goods train, or else. Or else what? questioned Ernest defiantly. Or else Mattel will buy the series and turn it into a brainless kid show made for kids, reported the yard manager. Without another word, Ernest started off to collect his trucks. The trucks were old, rusty, noisy, and generally intolerable, ever since they were granted Bluetooth headsets by the actors. The annoying sound of high-pitched chattering was enough to drive even the most steadfast sound engineer nuts. The deafening noise spooked everything in earshot, including a nearby squirrel who dropped a bushel of acorns on the head of the big manager. Take this, remarked the manager who pitched one of the acorns back at the squirrel. At that, a truckload of acorns promptly fell out of the tree, burying the big manager under the rubble. Ernest took no notice and backed into his trucks roughly. Bluetooth headsets chattered onto the ground onto the sleepers. The trucks didn't like that. We want our headsets back! Tough nuggets, said Ernest. Ernest! exclaimed his driver. We're pulling 14 trucks. We're only supposed to have 13. Oh no, big deal, quipped Ernest. But the big manager, the big manager does not have to know about it. After all, both you and I know he has no concept of how to run a railroad. How would you know? You're an engine. I read the script during rehearsal while you were flirting with that waitress at the restaurant. Ernest completed his rounds and delivered the 13 cars where they were needed. Then he headed back to the sheds, pushing the lone 14th truck with him. Both he and his driver were tired, and neither had forgotten about how much they had been overworked the past few days. It is a good thing I get paid handsomely, muttered Ernest. Speak for yourself, boomed his driver. I'm still waiting on the paycheck for last week's show. Soon... Ernest and his driver were engaged in a rambunctious argument that, for the purpose of the so-called plot, caused Ernest to bump into a tanker truck in front of him violently. Little did they realize that his buffers had created a gigantic gap in the tank, causing gooey liquid to ooze out. Ernest's driver quickly applied the brakes and stepped out. Then there was trouble, very bad trouble brought on by the scriptwriters with no imagination. But that didn't matter to Ernest or his driver. Both quickly realized that they had punctured a tanker of extra strength crazy glue. Ernest found himself welded to the tracks, completely unable to move. So the big manager won't find out. The big manager won't find out, yelled his driver. He will if you keep shouting. I'll shout if I want to. Very well, you're fired, responded the big manager. Ernest's driver spun around in surprise. How did you get here this quickly? You know that I go out and drink soda every morning. Stevie eventually came with the maintenance train. Had an accident with a truck of glue, eh, Ernest? We always knew you were stuck up. Since when have I had an accident recently? Well, there was the shed wall and the controller's office. Shut up. It pissed to be careful. You do well to eat some glue yourself. The workmen found that Ernest was glued down so well that they could not remove him from the rails in short order. Ernest was ultimately removed, still jammed to the rails, onto a flat car and hauled away. While the workmen placed new rails in the gap for the late night express trains, carrying passengers back from the casino on the other railway. Ernest was finally freed from the rails the next morning, but he should not have been so upbeat about his freedom. Fed up with Ernest's lack of care, the big manager set out to teach Ernest a lesson. Ernest was assigned to haul the pizza delivery train, but that's another twisted story. Mm -hmm.